social impact advice. Sorry. And so the biggest, the biggest thing was um, I was wanting to expand my reach. Your and camera I went off, Laura. I'm sorry? Your camera went off. off. Oh, probably a good thing. <laughs> That. <laughs> um, I um, wanted to expand my reach and I was even having problems with my editor because I wanted to uh, write uh, outside of what I've been generally writing about and they were like you need a bigger platform on this and blah 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 and I was like I could spend my time trying to build a platform or I could spend my time getting experience and knowledge of what I'm trying to work at and so I just was really kind of in desperation to, to be honest and frustration just threw it up I'm like all right you guys figure out what the hell you want me to <laughs> and let me in <laughs> let me and and that's what happened it just came naturally so the lesson is just know what you want to do and hone the message the opportunities will come I love it okay that was that's a message we all need to to hear thank you awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you. And we wish Lori a wonderful trip. She's headed out tomorrow on a big trip. So fun travels, safe travels. Um, let's see. So I do want to um, uh, ask Luann to take the floor for a few minutes uh, to kind of expand on what she was talking about uh, earlier. Uh, and I just started the recording. So hi, everyone. This is the May um, Expert Connect meeting. So for those of you who are joining us, uh, watching the replay, hello. Um, earlier, we were talking a little bit about a program that I was the MC for two weeks ago is a lifestyle medicine uh, program. And uh, Luann was one of the speakers on the Saturday event. Um, and I know lifestyle medicine was new to you. Is that correct, Luann? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So I'd love to hear a little bit of you know, your thought process. In fact, I'm still learning, right? And um, I missed the first day of the symposium. I got to go to the banquet where there was a panel discussion of experts in this field um, and then um, participated in the Saturday activities and was one of the speakers. Now, throughout the conversation at dinner on Friday night, the panel talked about one of the principles, of course, being following your passions, which I, I cued in on, of course, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh, good, they're speaking my language. I love that, right? And everything they spoke of reminded me of the blue zones. Who's familiar with blue zones? Only a couple of you. So the blue zones were communities identified by scientists many moons ago that had longer lifespans. And they identified in those communities what were the consistent principles that the people followed to have a longer lifespan. And then, you know, not so long ago, an author picked this up and made it his own. And there it is, the blue zones, the nine uh, principles of living. And they create blue zone communities so like Albert Lee, Minnesota is a blue zone community because they took those nine principles and applied them there to their community so that all of those things were present in their community. And then they get labeled this blue zone community and they are um, belong to a faith based community. Um, I got to make this bigger so I can see it. Uh, move naturally live with purpose, um, family first, downshift in the uh, lifestyle, it, in the lifestyle medicine, it um, eliminates stress. Um, the 80% rule, the plant slant is totally in alignment with the lifestyle medicine folks. Um, have the, surround yourself by the right tribe and wine at five, which is not in lifestyle medicine. <laughs> Yeah, but, <laughs> but it's in the land's nine principles. No, just kidding. So um, I um, when I look at the Denise, the lifestyle medicine, six principles, I don't see expressly passion in that. So I'm still learning because I expected to see it just like I see it in living your passion and purpose in the 
blue zones. So maybe you can help me with that. But well, the it, six, mm -hmm. the six, tell me if I'm right. This mm -hmm. article says six ways to take control of your health. Are they the same six principles if you called them principles? Nutrition, movement, stress relief, um, um, connection. Uh, and I think that's where, Luann, it could be, you know, connection with people, connection with self, connection to purpose, um, staying away from risky substances. <laughs> Used to be risky behavior. Now it's, now what they say, risky substances. Um, and I'm missing one. So I want to show you what I found, if I can screen share. Hold on, let me, hold on one second. And that's why I asked the question I asked earlier about who's the authority? Who's the ultimate authority on this discussion of what are those principles of lifestyle medicine? And so this is straight from the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. Yep. And one is nutrition, two is exercise. And I think you said it differently, didn't it? you said movement? Mm -hmm. Reduce stress, stay away from substance abuse, sleep and relationships oh sleep was the one i missed <laughs> yeah sleep was another one i, I know they talked about um, and so, so you said connection social connectedness is essential to emo emotional resiliency oops i just clicked something i didn't mean to yeah and that's i think that's kind of where um for those people who've been in, involved in lifestyle medicine that's really it's that connection piece we talk about relationship um and as you know this is kind of like the standard you know kind of take, then people kind of take this and, and kind of make it their own a bit. But um, uh, uh, ACLM is the, the, the head group. And why this is, is important is, you know, these are the things that all of us talk about in our business in some way, shape or form. Um, so Luann made a good point, you know, a lot of times people, especially here in Rochester, I mean, I, we live in, you know, you know, Western medicine Mecca, uh, truly we do. Um, and so people really kind of, you know, look at medicine, look to medicine. And those of us, when we start talking about, you know, more natural ways to um, focus on your health and wellness, there's a group of people that are going, well, hold on a minute. Whoa, whoa. You know, this is a little too woo. -woo. It's a little, little too off center for me, but it isn't. It's just a matter of the way people view things. And I think um, I've been a part of American College of Lifestyle Medicine for quite a few years. And like I say, you know, I mean, they say stay away from risky substances like alcohol. I like my wine. You know, I'm, I don't drink too much wine. Um, but for me, that's a part of a social thing. It's part of something that I enjoy. And so, you know, I've taken these um, these principles and apply it to my life. But I think we all apply this to our lives and our businesses as well. Um, yeah. And so what that's for me, that's why participating in uh, being the MC and participating is important to me um, personally and professionally. And so um, as a part of my work, right, I'm always focused on the positive. And so I would challenge our friends in lifestyle medicine that we change the language and focus on what we want to have rather than focusing on eliminating substance abuse or stress because you're focusing on the stress and you're focusing on the substance abuse. So I, I would change the conversation more like the blue zones have done. Um, but again, from a business owner marketing standpoint, that they're using the words and the positioning that I do in mm -hmm. the description of lifestyle medicine yep. means big things for us in the future, in my opinion, for all of us doing this kind of work because yep. they're really promoting what we're promoting through Absolutely. that model. And interestingly, number four, that's that's actually an old thing because um, it went because that's it was a substance abuse. It was um, uh, avoids risky behavior like they talked about that for a while. Um, so I think it's, you know, they're still. So they're where still, do I go to find the current? If, if that's on ACLM, then that's so what I they, just I just Googled yeah. and then mostly it's slides and graphics that show the principles. So they yeah. definitely could be outdated. So probably what I need to go is directly to their website. Yeah, and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll get somebody for you to connect with. 
So, um, but thank you. So I'd love for everyone to take a, you know, take a look at um, that at some point and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, share your thoughts. Denise, can I ask a question? So this is tying into what you said earlier about you see, you want to put together programming utilizing the ex expertise of our experts to offer it as programming for this group? No, what I was thinking, so I was talking to somebody not all that long ago um, who has a, owns a small company and you know, they're, big companies can afford um, wellness, workplace wellness initiatives. And I think what we do is right now on a, on a, on a smaller scale, we actually provide a work, we, could, we have a workplace wellness initiative. Mm -hmm. It's not set up that way, but that's actually what we're providing. And that's the, the, the point of, you know, the, the Friday Q and A's um, and the conversations that we have that we're, we're bringing to the audience um, as well as with the magazine, you know, where we are already providing incredible um, training and education. This would just be bringing the people to um, living healthy list in a more structured way. So a collaboration of what we do brought into one place of business to help them with their work workplace wellness programming, I believe is what Denise is talking about. And it's really funny because um, how many ever years ago it was that I grabbed onto the blue zones, um, I did the same thing and I called it a blue zone biz and I got in trouble because <laughs> I took their language. I even changed the spelling of blue and it still got me in trouble. And uh, uh, I was disappointed because I was really pl promoting initially their concepts, like quoting their book, telling people it's from their book etc but rather than applying it to a whole community the way that the blue zones do apply it in your workplace and work off of these nine principles and i took it even further i said here's an example of the nine principles that you could include in your workplace wellness but perhaps yours are different and let us use the passion test to find out what your core values are and what are the principles of your workplace going to be and then create the culture around that and that you can't just talk about workplace wellness. If it's not part of your culture, it won't work. <laughs> you know, so like my brother-in-law uh, adopted a culture when he built his new building, he's got a longstanding family construction business and really walked the talk. In other words, if we're gonna talk about wellness, he put a gym into the building. So they have a gym, he put the building out on the outskirts of town so there's wood path, or paths in nature for his team to go walk and take a break during the day he put in a game room so that they can play together you know what i mean it has to be fully embraced as a part of the culture that workplace wellness not just right. words <laughs> it also needs to be promoted that it's this isn't something separate and apart that wellness improves your retention your engagement and your purpose. absolutely and, and that the, wellness improve that that kind of engagement in the workplace improves your personal wellness at home that we're not doing this so that you're a stronger employee for us we're doing this so you're a healthier person overall but let's be clear i mean companies what they're willing to pay for has to improve their bottom line for most of, of course them, right and so, and I think though that the less, look, the happier and healthier you are as a person in all your spheres, the happier, healthier, more engaged, productive person you're going to be in the workplace. Right. Right. And, you know, it also affects creativity, which affects problem solving, innovation, like all of these pieces yep. come together and attention in the wellness. Um, yeah. Um, and I did speak with somebody who has something similar. She also has a huge group of coaches and she directly is, she's gathered them so that she can go to companies and say, we can replace 
the EAPs that you're using that people aren't using, really. They're not going for the gym. They're not going for therapy. They're not going to these things outside. We can bring it to your place of business. But essentially, it is just a larger version of what you've got going here. And it's just more directly applied to bringing people into the workplace. And it's also an imperative for workplaces because the generations that are coming up are different kinds of workers. And they have an entire different sensibility about how they wanna work, where they wanna work, and the environments they want to create for themselves within the workplace. So I think a lot of this is, uh, it's it's a employer's imperative to restructure how they think about the workplace and their workers. Um, So yeah, this kind of all ties in, everybody leveling up. Yep. And the thing with with companies, too, is, you know, with their insurance, you know, people, you know, yeah, we know with uh, a lot of companies, if you go to a gym, you get X amount of dollars off of your insurance, you know, what, however that works. I mean, I don't know, obviously, the ins and outs of that. Um, but that's also an incentive for companies if they're going to be paying for it. Um, and people aren't using it. This would be something very simple for employees to uh, participate in. Um so uh, that's, that's something that I've been thinking about uh, for, for a little while, um, you know, just really wasn't clear on how, still, still working out some details, you know, how we could really make that work. But I think within the framework of, you know, we talk about the membership, you know, and that's still kind of sitting there, like, what is that actually going to entail? And I think that actually makes sense that that's kind of in that um, kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? capsule. So Lisa just posted an interesting link in the chat, um, which again seems to circle around this exact same conversation and different titles for the end, same end result. Right. And so what just came to me, Denise, as you were talking about membership is how do we provide companies with a program that they're, they can promote and their employees can access through a membership in Living Healthy List. Are you with me? Yeah, um, exactly. And that's kind of like in the framework of this membership. Um, one, there's the, there would be you know education. And my initial thought actually was the initial co- the initial um, uh, content would be based on the the book that if it comes out this month, you know it's it's supposed to be coming out. You know, the eat real food, make a decision to be accountable. Why? Because there's a chapter in there that each one of us basically champions, Um, you know, whether it's nutrition, it's, you know, um, uh, movement, whether it's, you know, mindset, all of those pieces are in that are in the book. So this is book one, by the way, book two, we're going to start talking about um, probably in August. I'm going to mention it now. <clears throat> book two um, uh, is going to be a collaboration book um, with a chapter written by each of the uh, Living Healthy List experts who wants to participate. The collaboration book that I did, The Successful Body, it's back there. I mean, it, it, it was amazing. I've learned so much through publishing with them and publishing with the big publishing company that's taking forever. This book took three months to, from start to finish. You know, and I think that's another way that we can create this great content for companies is, you know, we'll have the book that, you know, then we base some of the material on the the chapters. So we'd have actual written content in in like the academy inside the academy but then this would be something that was specific would be specific for the club excuse me i'm losing my voice allergies so i think it's it's again it's something we need to hash out and um today's probably not the day to finish that um but i would ask for everybody to kind of um, you know, think about that, you know, what you've seen, what you've heard, um, and how we can participate and bring this to companies where it's going to benefit all of us. So doesn't Suzanne have an app or something that she's put together? Suze, are you still here? <laughs> she, 
She's got yeah. some here. I'm just eating my lunch. Right. I mean, you have something that you mm-hmm. like this that you've mm-hmm. already put together. Yeah. Not that you need to share what you're doing, but you could give ideas. No, I don't, or- I don't do it. It's, it's a resource for some of my chiropractic clients originally. <clears throat> um, and it's a wellness, wellness platform, similar to what a big corporation would put mm-hmm. together. Yeah. And, and I actually haven't had a chance to, I mean, Sue and I have looked, looked at it and it made that maybe the way to go, you know, it's um, you know, they basically um, we can add our experts, you know, cause it wouldn't make sense if it's living healthy list, I would want to have our experts, not somebody else's experts. Um, so that's, that's something, thank you. I had, I hadn't, I had forgotten mm-hmm. that I had gotten off my radar. So thanks Lauren for remembering that. Um, so I think this is, you know, this is something that, really could bring one, the, the, what is the, like the main goal is to get people to live healthier, happily, more fulfilling lives. That's what we're all trying to help people do. Uh, and I think this is, it's a different way than trying to do it individually because I mean, we know as business owners, you know, people, people want the change, but they don't want to put in the work if they have to pay for it. So, um, on that note, let's, um, Suzanne, what's the name of that company again? Or just shoot it to I'm me gonna put it, I'm going to put it in the chat. Yep. Because I was going to schedule some time. Hi, Lisa. Hi. I just wanted to um, expand on that one-liner, uh, nationalwellness.org. Um, it's just a huge, huge, huge resource. They've been around over 40 years. I've been part of it since 2004. Um, they have a conference every year. Um, coming up next month in Florida, but it's also a virtual okay. option. Um, and there's like worksite wellness is a huge part of what they do. They, it's wellness across the board, any kind of wellness, they keep it really, really community, yeah. school, da, 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 da. But there's like a ton of just companies that are doing this kind of thing, like, you know, looking at other models, right? Um, mm-hmm. And so much more, like so much more. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so ch- check it out. Um, yep. And if you have any questions, um, um, I actually volunteer on the membership committee and just like helping to connect dots and everything. So if you awesome. want more information. Yes, I, they, they're actually on my radar. I did know, I, I was actually trying to look to see if, you know, going to the, the virtual, because two years ago I was going to go in uh, when it, last time they had it live. Um, so, okay. I need to um, quickly change gears. Uh, the last few minutes. So thank you everyone for this conversation. I will um, uh, look for um, messages from you guys, um, whether email, text, um, you know, thoughts on what we're talking about. Uh, I want to quickly just uh, talk about two things that I'm looking for from you guys. One and gals, uh, one of them is I need your pictures. I need to have pictures of you all doing stuff in the community with people you love, doing things that you enjoy. Um, You know, we talked about this a while ago, you know, having um, stock photos is one thing. This decided not to. (laughs) Um, Having stock photos is one thing and that's great, but why not have pictures of our experts on you know, on the material that we're sending out. You know, when we do the meaningful conversations, our images are on there. But what about when, you know, the, the you know, maybe the homepage, at some point, the homepage of Living Healthy List is, you know, when we go on our first retreat to Livermore, California, um, you know, and we're there and we take a photo of all of us. Um, I think it's important that, you know, this is about us connecting to, you um, to, to the world. And it's how, how better than for people to connect with us to, than to actually see who we are and what we look like. <clears throat> um, and so those images, the reason why I'm pulling this up, because they actually have to be a certain size. Um, 1500 width by 1500 height. Don't exactly know what that means, but I'm, you know, height width, I don't know if it's 1500 pixels. Debbie, if you can chime in on that one. <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, and that was what uh, our um, website guy told us. Um, so just shoot them to me, shoot them to Debbie. 
put them on Facebook, I don't care. Um, we just love to have some of these images that we can start incorporating in the, some of the things that we're doing. Um, and just a hint, if you guys have Canva or any other design program like that, you can go in and resize. You can put 15 by 15, <laughs> put those photos in it and resize it and then it will be the right size. Perfect, thank you. Everybody knows Canva a lot better than I do. Um, and uh, articles were due February, not February. Ooh, I'm a little bit far, far in advance there. Um, July uh, articles are due. I know I have one from Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. Um, I haven't had a chance to look in uh, the back office this week. Um, so if you have, uh, if you have an article, thank you for submitting it. Um, if not, please, you know, take a look. Uh, I would say with articles, um, don't think that, don't think too hard. You know, we all have, we all know our stuff. You know, what is the one thing that you want to teach? And this is based on the, how I wrote my book. What's the, what's the, what's the thing that you want to teach? What are the three bullet points? Um, intro, exit, there you go. So they don't, so I know sometimes people go, oh, it takes me two days or two weeks to write an article. And I know I go through that when it's a big article, when it's 1200 words, but for 300 words, um, I would say, um, give yourself a break, you know, just make sure you know what you, what, you know, keep the end, begin with the end in mind, so to speak. What do you want to um, speak about in that particular article? Um, and I think that's all I have. Debbie, do you have anything for us or a question? Lauren, you look like, sorry. I, no, I just, I, and it's over. health, right? And I, I am, bad. usually I've been trying to really be on time, but I am late. Um, it's okay. It's health, right? Just uh, Men's and women's health, hold on. <laughs> Help. I don't have the page in front of me, uh, which because it's I keep moving upstairs, downstairs in my it's July is men and women's resilient health. Yep. August is resilient sex and centrality, and September is aging and transformate transition and menopause. Yep. And there was one other thing, Debbie. I know I, that um I asked you to pull up the the spreadsheet. Um yep. So for, so for everyone, just to know, if you go to livinghealthylist.com and you go to the magazine, open the magazine right. and all the article, the articles, the um, topics are all there. So I can share. I guess the other oh. question I would ask was, did everybody get a copy of the magazine? Have you shared it? Especially if you have articles. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show, see here in this page. So that's always there. We want to make, you know, we want our people to know, hey, this is what we've got, you know, coming up. So um, if you're ever kind of wondering what the topic is, it's right there. And it's right on livinghealthylist.com. And I'm going to stop share. And Debbie, I'll have you share real quick. And then give us two more minutes and then we can pop on off. Can you see my screen? Yep. So um, for the next few months, so my goal is to have all of these uh, images and emails set and ready uh, at least three months in advance. Um, in order to do that, I need for everyone to take another look at um, this uh, form. It is in the Facebook group. So for example, July, it's uh, Susan, Axelrod, Tom, Thomas, and me. And I, I didn't put myself in there. Um, so when we're looking at women's health, men's health, um, you know, and, and keep in mind, you know, when it comes to health, you know, I know we talk about nutrition, but maybe nutrition isn't, you know, maybe it's, um, um, Lisa, maybe it's body image and health. I don't know. Um, I think these conversations, the point of these conversations is to open people's minds and open our own minds to, you know, how we, we really help people, you know, it's, it's so much broader, like with, when, with weight loss, it's so much broader than losing weight. There's so much more involved there, um, you know, and, and so I think if, 
everyone takes a look at this so I can, we can you know, plan this three, uh, three or four months ahead of time. That would be awesome. Um, and then on the same page is free coaching Friday on the, the other tab. And yeah. if you scroll down. <clears throat> you're, um, you're calling this something else now, right? Um, I am. I, I am. And it's, um, yeah, we just need to change that. I forgot about that. It's, it's um, health and wellness Q&A. We could call it Ask the Experts. Um, one of the things that um, has come to, ha I've had conversations with several people in the last few months, you know, living healthy list isn't about coaching. It's about living a healthy lifestyle. Not all of us are coaches or see ourselves as coaches or use that term. So I think, you know, as so getting rid of or not using the term coach um, because people say, well, I don't need a coach. What do I need a coach for? But they may have, you know, questions on health and wellness that, um, that um, connect, they connect with that, for, that, that name uh, better. Um, so I'm going to send this. I think, I don't think I sent it in the last um, monthly email. Um, is everybody getting the monthly email? Because I, I asked because I accidentally um, deleted all of the contacts out of constant contact the other day. Yeah, like all of them. So I got most of them back. And I think I had sent this out. I think I sent it out before, um, before I deleted everybody. Uh, so I would just ask everybody, especially, you know, specifically, you know, the meaningful conversations, that's really my goal for that is to the, for that to be the segue into the, the club or the membership, whatever we're going to call that with, you know, the, the workplace wellness membership. I think it's, a, I think it's, it's a membership and the workplace wellness initiative fits in the membership, but that's, you know, TBD right now. So um, thoughts, questions, concerns, no concerns, thoughts, questions, comments. I, Your hair I looks really the, pretty um, today, by the way, Lauren. Yeah, it is very pretty. I love the color. Um, yeah, I love the um, Ask the Expert or, or I mean, health and wellness q and I mean, that's very, um, the one that I did with Andrea was like awesome. It was, I mean, she had a very a prepared, you know, 15, 20 minute, it was just like a mini thing. And it was very interactive, lots of questions. I mean, we went over a little bit, you know, I was like, you know, if you need to go, go, but if, you know, she has more time. So it was a really good, that model. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, I think that was, that was a great one. Hug for that. It really was. So, okay. So thoughts are, so quick, from, yes, Thomas. Sorry, quick question. Yeah. So uh, on the articles, I tend to be uh, a bit longer and my articles are usually in the 700 to 1100 words. And is that too long for the magazine? No, Could because you, what, sorry, yeah. Debbie, you can answer that. It's, it'll just have a link to the blog post. So I try and keep them just a page so people don't, okay. so it's not overly right. done. So okay. there's a link at the bottom, like continue reading and it will okay. link to the blog post. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's fine. Thank you. Yeah, and your articles are great. I love reading them. <laughs> okay, good. There's something new. Okay. So if you guys would, pictures, um, take a look at the um, Meaningful Conversations uh, sign up. And if you have thoughts uh, for me regarding the workplace wellness, that would be great. And I think that's something that, you know, we'll all, we can all really um, gain from. All righty. Well, thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Lori, have a great trip. Thank you. I am, uh, I am really excited. I'm not going to do anything but lay and be. <laughs> nice. Maybe dance a little. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> but I would count on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, enjoy your trip. We'll, we'll wait to see pictures when you get back and uh, we look forward to seeing you. Thank you. And all you guys have a great week, couple of weeks and I'll see you when I get back. Sounds great. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Good. I appreciate it. Bye. Appreciate you. Bye. Hey, Denise, Bye. can you stay for a second? Absolutely. Let me stop. Let me stop recording.
I was going to ask the same thing. <laughs> Hold on, no problem. Hold on. Where's recording? Why am can I not recording? Where's record? Oh, here we go. It's up here. It moved. <laughs>